Hi everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools Music Production Lessons here at Educator.com. This is a lesson about tempo operations. In this lesson, we will learn about tempo events, starting by setting different types of tempo for our sessions. We will also take a look at our tempo operations in the event menu, and we will be discussing all the tempo changes under the graphic tempo editor, which is right here, this little triangle, triangle that we can get under our tempo ruler. Okay, first thing first, just like on the last lesson, uh, how we were finding the uh, current tempo of a session with identify beat, we had to enable the conductor. And here we have to do the same thing also. In order to get the very first window that I'm looking, which is the add tempo change, there's a uh, plus sign here that I can get there. There's another way to get there. They're slightly different than each other, which I'm going to mention. Double click the song start red icon. So either that one or the other one, they can be only viewed one at a time. As long as your conductor enabled on the transport MIDI controls. Otherwise, you cannot get to it. Click on the plus sign, double click. So enable the conductor, press on this plus sign and get a tempo change. This looks exactly the same, but they're like slightly different. What we do here, we can type a tempo change, let's say 100, and my session tempo is now 100. But when you disable the conductor, actually, your other default tempo is there. But we will be constantly working with the conductor. So here, if I get my tempo change, and let's say if I go to the bar 5, and if I wanted to speed this up a little bit to the 125, let's say, you see this little tempo mark up there on the tempo ruler, which is green. Now we know this tempo change has been made. We can view it right here, 100 to 125. And you can apply other changes as well here. You can write, let's say, 7. And then all of a sudden, this is an interesting track, goes down to 60, <laughs> which probably is not going to really happen. But our graphic tempo editor, we can view these changes. You can option click tempo changes to get rid of it. We do these operations similar way that we did with our markers, if you remember from the 101 class. And this right now stayed right there. Let's close this graphic tempo editor just for a second and go to the red icon. How is different? Red icon that you can set your session tempo, let's say 110 right now, and you change that one and you can view. Now you're starting on 110 and previously changes you made on the tempo is there. Double click. But if you see on the tempo change dialog box, if you're getting that by double clicking the red icon, you cannot actually set the location. Even if you have a selected area in your clips, in your edit window or over the rulers, that's something you cannot select. Although these are very identical looking, this is one different if differences in between. As you see, there is no window to make changes for the location. There is for the BPM because I got that from the session start icon that I have this red icon. But if you click on the tempo, you see you can set up as we were doing. Tent bar, press tab, and let's go 200, super fast. There we go we can make all these changes. Again, we can go select multiple tempo change operations and we can either press by deleting or command Z of undoing it. Another way to do is clearing under edit. You can go ahead and clear this one by command B. You should be able to. You should be able to if you, if you select from the tempo ruler. There we go. So that's one difference. We have to always select within the tempo 
And if we go right now on edit, as you see, more things are available right now. And clearing is one of those. Yes, command B. So there are a couple of ways. Uh, you can go on the icon and option click on it. You can select at the top by the ruler, but make sure you're also selecting the you're selecting the green. You can just put your selector and you can select just the green uh, area with the main ruler, of course, but I am not really selecting. If I go, if I go select these on the ruler, main ruler, usually I select everything, including my clips, if I had any clips. But now we're really focusing on this tempo ruler. So just basically make sure your selector is on there so you can apply this operation. So command B, backspace to delete or option clicking. There are many ways of deleting these things. So this is how we set up a different types of tempo in our session. You may have these kind of sessions going uh, going to ch going to be changing the tempo all the time. So that may be one of those